I was taking acting, I was taking auditioning workshops from this casting director in Dallas. And the material she was using was Breaking Bad. Um, was It was the pilot script for Breaking Bad. And then she, she had the script because she was going to start casting it for another network. And then that network decided, never mind, that's too dark. We aren't going to go with this show. Um, and so she didn't think it was going to be picked up. She thought it was just a, a script that she could use for actors and it just audition workshop and mm -hmm. so I took the class for it was once a week I took it for a, a, about a month um and auditioned practiced auditions for this casting director with almost every role every major role in in this in the show um and then one day I come into this casting workshop and the casting director says, you aren't going to believe this. That show actually got picked up by AMC and they're going to start casting it. And I said, I, I really want to be in it. And she goes, and I'm, I was 30, 35 ish at the time. Um, she said, well, what do you like? They've already cast the main roles. What are you going to, you can't, you're too old. All we knew was a high school teacher who, who cooked drugs. That's the only thing we knew about the show, really. She's like, you're too, too old to play a high school student, <clears throat> but you don't look like you could play a teacher. What do you think you're going to do in that? I said, I don't know. They got to have like people to sell the drugs to. Um, and I was just kind of like, I don't know. And then lo and behold, two weeks later, she calls and said, hey, um, we have an audition for it's a what they call a day player role for Breaking Bad and this it's a skinny they had actually three skinny skinny stoner tattooed stoner and chubby stoner um and that was the three roles they were auditioning and I went in and I think I read for skinny stoner but I wore a um what they was call it, it was, uh, was uh, those neck things those like uh, undershirt things yeah what are yes. they called why are we blanking they, here yeah <laughs> wife feeder is wife is feeder there you go derogatory term um but mm -hmm. i was wearing one of those and uh so you could see that i had tattoos and that was my first round of auditions and then they called me back a few days later and said hey we'd like you to audition again for the you know second round of auditions but we changed the script and I got the new script and it suddenly said skinny tattooed stoner and then chubby stoner. And there was only two stoners now instead of three of us. It was just mm -hmm. a skinny tattooed stoner and a chubby stoner. And I thought, well, I'm both skinny and tattooed. So I got that. <laughs> so I went in and I, I did the same you know, audition as I, I did before in the same outfit. And um and luckily I got the part and I went and I did uh, my few lines for my first episode. Um, and Rodney Rush, uh, who played Combo, uh, managed, he actually was from New Mexico and auditioned in New Mexico and okay. uh, nice. managed to book the role. And uh, from what I understand, that was his first actual acting experience. Um, and uh, he he's a great dude um and he 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 was he was a lot of skinny pete's inspiration because he was an albuquerque local um and so when we weren't working i would just talk to him and i kind of learned you know some of some of the the, the talk some of the slang some of the yeah. uh, some of the dialect and mexico has its own dialect and and um and he helped remind me of that. I, I had lived in New Mexico as a child, but it had been a few years. And so uh, he reminded me of the, the New Mexico uh, lilt. <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, then I did the, um, I did the first, odd, I got the first part and they said, thanks, we're all done with you. Um, and that's as far as I knew they were done with me and so i mm -hmm. well now back 
back to looking for a job, you know? Um, and then a few days later, I would get a call saying, hey, we'd like you to come back. Thank you.